I've oh, been yeah. in this band since I was 15. I've been in this band like substantially longer than I haven't been. Hey, what's the name of the hometown you're from? Escatapa. Escatapa. And uh, then I wrote the so second that's you record. on Kryptonite. Mm -hmm. And you know, that song was actually written on the drums. I wrote that song when I was in high school. And uh, I wrote it in high school algebra class. And that drum lick, I just wrote it on my desk. It was, God. It was just as simple as that. You know, and here drummer's playing this simple, simple, simple lick. And it's one of those licks that people throw you wrong all the time. It's like, man, it is so easy to play. Yeah. In our band, I mean, you can hear me. And I'm way better than I used to be. We were such rednecks. I had some there. fried alligator. Tastes like chicken. I mean, I mean, a lot of drummers just do, don't play shuffles as much because it's not on radio as much anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's a feel that is very much overlooked. I think that's why that song was uh, was successful. And it was, I mean, not the drum beat, but the feel of the song was it was such a big hole for it. Yeah. There wasn't another song like it. Yeah. It was you very know? different. Did you guys have to sh do a big showcase for the cigar chomping suits? Or <laughs> They just flew us up and we went and played a little show at CBGB's, except I forgot my dadgum uh, sticks? sticks at the hotel. <laughs> so <laughs> what did you do? I, I thank God they found me. You only had somewhere. one pair of sticks? Yeah. Um, you guys played the 2016 Trump presidential elect inauguration. I that day and I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Donald Trump's in here talking to us in the room. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was awesome. I... Don't watch the news. I'm not a political guy. I keep my life simple. I actually learn about the news from the guys in my band. It doesn't, believe, it doesn't matter what you believe politically. Those many women, I mean... They're, they're putting it on the line. Exactly. Yeah. Being a foundation, we have to be really careful what we donate to. You know, we can't give directly to an individual that has to go to a charity. A lot of them have good intentions, but they wind up wasting a lot of the money. Oh, there's sure. a funny story about how you guys came up with the name, right? Oh, yeah, we just, yeah, we didn't really, it didn't really mean anything. We just made it up off an old fruit stand down in Foley, Alabama. And so you saw doors down. <laughs> yeah. Like one of the businesses had moved a couple of doors down. And at the time, there was three of us. And we were like, well, what about three doors down? I don't, I don't like it. All three of those. You don't like them? Nope, but I like you. <laughs> and I like your zipper shirt. <laughs> right, you have, do you have your slip-ons today? Oh, my gosh. Are your slip-ons today? When we got signed, I was driving a forklift. Before that, I, I drove a bush hog. I've done enough of those jobs that, man, I can really appreciate getting to do this. To get to do the things that we get to do in the fashion in which we get to do them. And people, like, look up to you for doing something that you just enjoy doing. Get yeah, my stapler. Like, I did all that stuff. You know, I wore, I wore cat. Khakis. I don't want to wear khakis. That's horrendous. I saw you out there racing one of the horses. It always wins. It always That's wins. That's a good game, though. <laughs> yeah. That, that keeps you in shape. Ooh, Lord. Uh, gilding is... Uh, well, that's a that's a male that's been cut. Uh, yearling... Ouch. Uh, a yearling, then a... <laughs> record it's it's 12, 20 year anniversary yep. that was it gonna be like a special edition or something uh we're yeah actually uh crystal algae uh remixed and re-released it and doing a big thing of it on vinyl this time which is i mean if you're gonna sell vinyl's hard coming copies, back yeah if you're gonna sell a hard copy of record well, that's what people want okay yeah. because when you're in mexico city you can't drink the water and, yeah. and you're worried about montezuma's revenge when you're playing in front of a lot of people exactly. you skipped the wedding bar mitzvah stage we that was good uh, we you know i uh I, we never even when we were local band and again by the grace of god we're from the it all worked out good for us new record brad it's been great man i really appreciate you stopping by we almost did a crossroads together for cmt maybe we can still happen let's do it subscribe rate and follow along at richredmond.com forward slash podcasts